we listen to Aaron Copeland's song for the common man. That's for the common man, right? And I just thought, that sounds very regal to me. But if we think of ourselves as worthy of that, it's a whole different way of seeing about our primal love and our vision and also where we might be going together. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. For the common man and woman. I, I just think that's an interesting title for something so passionate and regal. And, and then you think, well, that's my life. My vision for my life is big. How about you? And it's related to my first love. My first love isn't necessarily my mother and father who held me, even though that was a primal love, something that happened. You're not very conscious when you just shot into the world and someone's taking care of you. But the primal connection to um, the source of life, that the life that was given to you, and you become conscious of that, the time you woke up, my life matters. I am doing something with this time on earth. I'm a creator. That's my first love. Does anybody here besides me know, I know a few of you know the Ho'oponopono prayer. It's, um, it's a really simple prayer with four phrases. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. And many people tell the story about how it was a doctor who used that prayer in a mental hospital and he healed all the patients just by reading those, saying those prayers over their files. He didn't really know much about any of them. He just said that prayer over and over again. It's a true story. You can look it up. I'm not wanting to go down that lane with the story as much because what came to me over this week with regards to your first love, your vision, your origin story, is also saying those first two parts of the prayer, I'm sorry that I've turned my back on my primal, my first love. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. So it's like a whole 180 turn. I'm sorry. I forgot for a minute. Please forgive me. I'm present here now. I love you. Thank you. Changes everything. It changes us into a vision of what's possible because we are connected to that spark that animates us, that is us, that is within us, that gets released into the world to change the world. And then the excitement of finding another person who is honoring and loving their prime, their um, first love and their, their vision and their origin story. I mean, the or you can say our origin story is sperm and egg came together, made a baby, but it was the spark that was the origin, the spark that made that baby live, the spark that keeps this body alive. And the vision of what that spark can do in a human experience. Ba, ba, ba! I'm a common girl. <laughs> How about you? Sorry, if that seems dramatic. I just really would like you to know that's true for you. I'm not, this is not, I'm not special in that way, except in my appreciation for Aaron Copeland's music and timpani drums and big gongs and things like that. But can you wake up in the morning with that kind of enthusiasm? and say that my vision for the day is the song for the common person, and it's gonna look like this. And what does that vision look like? I think your origin story and your um, first love fuel where you can go, what you can do, and allows you to see that being alive and in human form is the greatest gift of all. And I think when we consciously live our lives, we are changing the world. And then when we're doing it together with another person, it becomes exponential. It's just not one in one makes two. It's one in one makes a new world. And that's true between us. And as a collective, the more that are doing it together, the more fertile the field, the more possible our visions come together.